Good evening, everyone. Well, in the program's second year, the Gladstone Braves find themselves with the number two ranking in Division Three baseball. The team sits with a record of 26 and four, and they begin regional play this weekend down in Traverse City, St. Francis. Now, the Division Two district champions Escanaba and the Braves held a scrimmage earlier in the week. Gladstone head coach Don Lauser says both teams wanted to hone a few more skills before heading to the Lower Peninsula. He says the key this weekend will be doing the little things like perfecting base running and knowing how to cover bunts. But he knows a victory won't come easily and senior pitcher Sam Pouliot is excited for the challenge. The arm's been feeling pretty good. Um, I guess I've been uh, been pretty confident. I mean, I'm just uh, I'm just thankful that um, everything went the way it did. So I'm excited to go down there and uh, see some other teams. Fun. I, love, I enjoy it. Pretty optimistic, like Sam said, but. It's fun. I want to give it anything else. One of the, the uh, coaches from down in their conference uh, called me today and said that uh, our team and their team should be the class of the tournament. So uh, hopefully that's true. And so the first game is going to be the tough one. And, and ultimately that's our uh, concentration and our focus anyway. The Braves feature four seniors this season who say win or lose, they're excited for the future of this program. Their game against the Gladiators is this Saturday at 10 a.m. Well, the NMU Olympic training site's Greco-Roman wrestling program is in the middle of its superior wrestling camp with France, Sweden, the Czech Republic and Germany all in attendance. Team Germany led today's practice and that meant a couple friendly games of soccer to work on their foot speed. And just recently, U.S. OTS wrestlers Arthur Carmona and Alejandro Sancho qualified for the FILA Junior World Championships in Croatia this August. Having different countries travel to Marquette meant the wrestlers could be exposed to different styles of the sport. Uh, they have uh, foreign teams in here, and not just foreign teams, but the best foreign teams. And, and our guys are training with them and uh, competing against them. And, and uh, so as much time as we get on the mat with these guys is going to help us. I'm going to try my hardest for Junior World Team Trials. It's going to be my last year, so I have a lot to prove this year, so I want to win. To end the Superior Wrestling Camp, the U.S. OTS will host matches between all five countries beginning this Saturday at 3 p.m. and finishing this Tuesday. Well, Northern Michigan University's Julie Rochester will be inducted into the Michigan Athletic Trainer Society Hall of Fame tonight in Ypsilanti. She's an assistant professor in the Health, Physical Education and Recreation Department and the director of the Athletic Training Education Program at NMU. She received her Master of Science degree in Exercise Science from NMU in 1995 and completed her Doctor of Education in Educational Leadership from the University of Phoenix in 2009.